Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our trip here to Fantasialand in Germany continues. Tonight we're staying here at Hotel Lingbao. This hotel always looks so nice. I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like. Yeah, I've been coming here for nearly 10 years to Fantasialand. Never stayed in this hotel before. Obviously, they've got three on-site hotels here. Charles Lindbergh, where we've also stayed this trip. So check out that vlog if you've not seen it. There's also Hotel Matamba, which is the African-themed hotel, which is a gorgeous we place really to stay. Like that. Yeah, Matamba's amazing, uh, looking out at Black Mamba. And then you've got Ling Bao just here. Yeah, it's a Chinese theme, if you haven't guessed already, from the name and also the scenery there just pretty. behind us. It really is Definitely, lovely to look yeah. at. Uh, so we're going to take you for a little bit of a walk around the outside. We'll head inside the lobby. We're then going to have some breakfast this morning. And then, of course, uh, show you our room here as well. And then later on, all this area lights up beautifully. I mean, it's nice in the summer, but during the winter season for the park's winter room events, there's, a lot there's of lights, lights everywhere. Yeah. You've got all the fire uh, out here. So, yeah, We'll show you that later on here this evening. Yeah, look at this. It is beautiful outside here. All the lovely theming and facades just here. And there's so much going on with the buildings just here. I love the dragon fountain nice. just down here as well. Yeah, it's amazing that, isn't it? And loads of seating just out here. This is actually the outdoor area to the lit river bar just over there. But you can see like all the lights hanging up for a wind's room. So yeah, we'll definitely get some footage later on at night out here because it's really magical and yeah these are all like flame effects just here as well which is really nice but yeah look at this obviously it's built into the park's chinatown themed area which is a lovely area of the park and yeah it's complemented by having this amazing themed hotel just out the back here and yeah it's really nice got like the boat tied up just there like, it is stunning to look at yeah i do love the color scheme of this hotel like, the oriental look is amazing just things like all the floor down here Really nicely detailed. And it's great to finally come and stay here because, like I say, never stayed in this hotel before. It's very peaceful, really tranquil. What you wouldn't realize is that there's actually a main road on the other side of the hotel. And it's worth pointing out that when you are booking, you can pay extra to be on this side of the hotel, looking out into the gardens here um, or over towards the theme park. Uh, and yeah, we did pay a little bit extra for that. Um, just so we're on this side because obviously the the road on the other side is really noisy you wouldn't think it when we're standing here it's so noisy on the other side so i'd recommend if you are staying here st stay on this side you won't get the noise there. yeah i mean it's probably going to be okay if you're keeping your windows shut but if you're coming in the summer and want your windows open and that sort of thing uh, then yeah i think it's probably worthwhile definitely staying uh, over on this side because you're guaranteed a view looking out here into the gardens or if you're on a higher up level uh, over towards the park itself we're actually on the ground level this time i would have liked to have been a bit higher up so we could see more into the park but still at least we're on this side which is good to see now unfortunately the swimming pool is closed for refurbishment at the moment when i booked it it didn't say anything about that because normally it is open uh, at this time of year so you've got an indoor pool and an outdoor pool and yeah sadly that is closed there is also a spa here as well um yeah i think it's a shame that uh, you know it wasn't better advertised that it was shut no, really like, you didn't say anywhere that it was going to be closed no i, was, I would have gone in there yeah, you know no, you i was in there, yeah i was like you know i love a good pool but you've got the outdoor pool here and it is normally open even outside it's fully heated um during winter but yeah the pool area looks really nice I was hoping to get in there this trip yeah, all these lights continue around here and just look at all the details on the facade like it's amazing to walk around it's really pretty in the daytime but at night it's even more special as well which is fantastic but yeah you wouldn't think there was a busy road over there on the other side yeah there's a look at the pool obviously that's normally filled up it's quite deep isn't it, it is yeah and then you've got the restaurant which is just over there that's the bamboo restaurant we're heading there shortly to go and have some breakfast Yippee. yay so we'll take you along and show you what the breakfast is going to be like yeah really well looked after and landscapes around here as well so yeah we're just going to head around this way we'll show you inside the lobby area and then yeah we'll take you around to bamboo to go and have some breakfast and show you our room of course as well give you a bit of a tour around there yeah so the lobby is just over in this direction over here yeah stunning views look at this it's gorgeous here we go then, inside the hotel lobby now. I just thought I'd show you all the nice theming and details in here because look at this. It's really impressive with all the detail theming inside here. Really authentic as well. All the wooden effect that they've got going on and you look up there into the ceiling. 
Yeah, look at all the details. Obviously, I've walked through here many times during my stays here at Fantasia Land, but never stayed here before. That's why we thought we'd stay here this time, see what it's like. Nice big windows. Yeah, I do like all the colour schemes going on just here as well. Like things like the tables, all the nice details. The orange, the kind of purple look as well. Is that house and comfy, don't I? Yeah, give him a try. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like a bed, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. Big. <laughs> Massive. Obviously, for Christmas, you have this lovely scene just out here as well. That's really nice with the pandas at the bottom. Oh, there they are. The cute little pandas. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Down the bottom, just there. Lovely, all the snow just on there as well. I think the tree's normally here, but they don't have the snow covering on there and the little birds. Here's a look then just outside the bar where you've got all the fish down there as well. Nice little pond just down here, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't nice expecting to see the fish. Yeah, you don't realise just down there. Quite a bit there. Yeah, look at those. There you go. Yeah, really nice. Yeah, I've always found the theme of this hotel really interesting. Here's a look at the bar, but unfortunately, because we're staying during off-peak times, this bar actually closes at five o'clock at the moment, which that's when it should that's open, really. really silly, to be honest. Yeah, you've got the Dragon Bar upstairs, and that's only open at peak times. Yeah, that's closed. Yeah, and the pool's shut, so yeah, not yeah, the best yeah, impression, unfortunately, really um, this time. But yeah, here's a look inside the bar area just here. Really nice, all the details at the top. Yeah, the theming's great. Yeah, look at this, like the big dragon just up there at the top. Got the little bridge just over here that leads in as well, which is really nice. There you go, there's the dragon. Just up there at the top, all the candles. And yeah, the bridge actually goes over the little pond just here as well. There you go, how cool is that? Really nice and authentic. Here we go then, making our way down the lovely shiny floor. Look at this. It's like it's wet, isn't it? Obviously, we just look after it and polish it. And making our way down to our corridor. And we're staying just down here. Here we go, look at this, really nice. It's really relaxing. It is, yeah, you can just hear that soundtrack in the distance there as well. Beautiful. Here we go, we're staying around here in room 31. Let's go inside and have a look. Look at the details on the door even here. With the wooden effect, yeah, all the lights and everything. Yeah, it is really nice. I've always found the corridors to be quite dark, but actually, look really nice and uh, pretty when you're staying here. And the rooms are really light inside. And here we are then, inside our room. Look at this. Yeah, it's really bright in here with the colour scheme. Obviously, you know, you expect with outside it to be very kind of red and darker colours in here. Actually, it's a lot lighter than you'd expect. We've got like this nice gold colour, we've got the green, we've got the blue. Nice. I think the rooms look really nice to be honest. Yeah, there's I do. Details in here, which is nice. Yeah, I mean the lighting as well, there's loads of great lighting. I mean that's the first thing that blew me away because you've got all the lighting at the top just there, you've got the ones on the side, you've got the spotlights up there, you've got this one, you've got the strip along there as well. Yeah, massive TV. Just over here as well. Now we'll start with the desk area. I mean, this is great. And here you get this little uh, poof just here to sit on. It wheels out. There we go. If you bring it out, there you go. <laughs> That's it. You can sit on it. Have a little, <laughs> little ride around. Oh, just today, it's good, that, isn't it? But yeah, desk area is fantastic. Great when you do editing. Um, you don't get all these Mars bars and no. Kit Kats. That's what we've brought. This which is the same as what we got in Charles Lindbergh. Yeah, so they're the chocolates that they sell inside Rookberg. Sparkling water. Oh, we're not a fan of sparkling, oh, are we? No, prefer we're still. Not a fan, definitely yeah. prefer the still water. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the bed's fantastic. We actually Massive. had a night here because we stayed here for two nights. We slept in here last night. The bed is Look. huge. Look at this with Charlotte on there. Yeah. Massive. Proper good bed test there from Charlotte. Yeah. But so uh, yeah, this is nice headboard as well. This leather cream headboard. All of that just there, very nice. And of course, there's Charlotte sleeping just up there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, really impressed. Obviously, these are family rooms They're and they can accommodate spacious. four people. So you've got um, the bunk beds over here as well with a nice big step ladder. There we go, Buddha just up there as well. There he is. And yeah, very nice details. I like how these can be closed off like so as well, which is good. Yeah, fantastic to see. Just little things like all these on the wall. Just here as well, very nice. And yeah, of course, just over here where Charlotte is, you got a bit of seating as well. Yeah. There we go, a little bit of window seating, which is quite nice, yeah, isn't it? Lovely. And you get two windows in here, one big, one small. That's it, Charlotte's off. 
See you later. Yeah. <laughs> What's cool about the curtains actually, they, they block the whole wall off as well, yeah, it does, which yeah. is quite nice. Uh, and here we go. Blackout. Yeah, here's a look at our view. So like I say, I wish we was a bit higher up, but um, you can just see Mystery Castle just over there. Uh, and there's a little look over at the rooms off to the right and the rest of the building there as well. Whoop. There we go, it's pop that down. Yeah, it would have been nice to have been higher up, but, but uh, yeah, is. you're better off on this side than on, on the road, road side. side. I'd imagine it does get noisy um, over there. But yeah, that's our view. Looking out that window, I'll show you this one just here as well. I like how you've even got all the features actually on the windows as well. Looking out just there into the gardens. And normally you'd be looking out at the pool actually, if it was open, yeah. <laughs> just down there. There we go. Yeah, more nice details around the side lots of storage as well like you've got the bedside cabinets and actually this opens up on the desk there as well for storage yeah so i do like that obviously you get free wi-fi as well wi-fi is really good it's quite fast very fast wi-fi which, which is fantastic big mirror big just here as well yeah as well. look at that that's nice here we go two big wardrobes quite spacious there we go yeah quite a lot of room Inside there, you've got the bits at the top there as well. Get the loads of towels as well. Yeah, here and we then go. You've got the bathroom, which I think is really nice. Yeah, I love the look of the bathroom just in here. It's very nice. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Like, the shower's great. As yeah, well. I love really all these great. details. There's a really nice smell in this hotel as well, which is nice. I think they put smell pods, not in the rooms, but like in the corridors and reception and things. Lovely. Yeah, shower's fantastic. All the tiles, I think, look really nice around here as well. Just these details, instead of just you know being painted on, you got all these as well. It just really makes it feel premium, like the top just there of the mirror, which is nice. There we go, there's all the basin area. Just this here. This is really nice, the shower gel and hand wash they give you as well. It smells really good, it doesn't smells it? Smells lovely, yeah. And the green water stuff, like I say, I thought, you know, it'd be very red, black, dark oranges in here, but actually, it's a lot lighter than, than you think. You also get a heater in here. Oh, there we so go. It's <laughs> like you're in like a halogen oven and you're cooking. That's it, there you go, yeah, it's built into the top. That's it's good like though. It's a bit of microwave. Yeah. <laughs> Because once I'd had a shower and I came out because it was a little bit chilly, wanted to come out of the shower, I put this on and I was fine. I was so warm. Yeah, that's the good thing about that, isn't it? Like it's quite a fancy yeah. feature. I mean, yeah, all the flooring's really nice in there as well. Very good. And then obviously you've got the wooden floor in here. You got the little rugs as well. Plenty of plug sockets, plenty of lights. It's a really nice room here at Lingbao. Fantastic. Um, like I said, I think you are definitely better paying the extra to make sure you're staying on this side. Um, but I really like it. I think the rooms are probably the biggest rooms that they've they got out of the three. Obviously, the aeronaut cabins in Charles Lindbergh are very small. feels very spacious when you come in here after. But saying that, we really, really like those. It's very That's unique. That's the experience. It's unique about it, isn't it? Yeah, um, but it is nice to have some then more room. Some yeah. Room. <laughs> Yeah, to get the space. I'd say the rooms feel a bit bigger than Matamba as well. Yeah. Um, Matamba, I still prefer the theme of that. I love the uh, deep in Africa kind of vibe of that hotel. However, it's nice to finally stay here and see it in the rooms because, yeah, just again, I've just noticed all that wooden effect up there. There's so much detail that's gone into this, which is so nice. Like everywhere you look, um, like Charlotte said, it kind of feels like you're staying at some fancy spa or something. Yeah, I feel like I'm on a spa break. Yeah. It's really relaxing, it's oh. the colours and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's lovely, it really is. But uh, there we go, right, we're gonna make our way now around to the Bamboo Restaurant. We'll take you in there for a little oh, look now. To yeah, have some breakfast and we'll show you what that's like. Yeah, that's located on this level, I believe, if we follow the corridor around. Here we go then, so we've made our way down here to the Bamboo Restaurants. Yeah, look at all this theming just outside here. The corridor is very dark in this hotel. Like, <laughs> so let me turn the lights on. on. Uh, here we go, looking forward to see what breakfast's oh, like. I'm hungry, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, let's go have a look inside. This is the Bamboo Restaurant here. Here we are then, inside the beautifully themed Bamboo Restaurants. Hello, there. there we go, what have you got? I've just gone for some toast. I've had a bit of scrambled egg, but I've eaten it. And just some little pancakes. <laughs> there we go, there's a lot of pancakes look quite nice, actually. They do, they've just come out. There we go, obviously you can get hot drinks, uh, orange juice as well, just there that you can see. I've just gone for a very light breakfast once again, over some cereal, and yeah, I'm just halfway through eating an apple. I have a little pancake. Oh, they look quite nice, they do. Do you want to pop them there? Yeah, I'll probably have one of those. Yeah, yeah, make the most of it. But yeah, it's really nicely themed in here. Loads oh, of lovely wow. details all the way around. Yeah, I've never been in here before, but you can see this restaurant from in the park. Yeah, it's really nice inside here. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous in here with all the theming. Look at this. Really authentic. And yeah, decorated for Christmas as well. 
Yeah, here's look at look at your breakfast options. Yeah, you got loads of fruit down here. All your orange juice, selection of breads just here as well. Yeah, quite a lot. As you can see, the pancakes just there. Yeah, all these fruits just over here. And then obviously you cook breakfast just over here as well. We're quite light eaters at breakfast, to be honest. Just sort of show you what there is if you're coming to stay here at Lingbao. Little sausages just there. But yeah, all this detailing in here, fantastic. Nice Christmas tree over here as well. There we go, and there's a look out to the park itself. It's just down that way, yeah, straight into the Chinatown area of Fantasia Land. That's the thing with this hotel, it's integrated into the area beautifully. Yeah, there's a look, of course, down into the park, right there. All the snow's out, ready to go. <laughs> Got a very relaxed vibe, this hotel. I like it. I really like it. Right then, so we're back in the room after breakfast. And I've got to say, I do like the theme and decoration there in the bamboo restaurant. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Yeah, the breakfast itself. I mean, we're not really massive breakfast people. I wasn't a huge fan <laughs> of breakfast, unfortunately. I think when you're used to like a British breakfast. There's a lot know. of choice, but like there's no muffins or like little cakes and stuff like that. Yeah, no bananas, that no. sort of thing. Yeah, there's a little bit of fruit, but yeah, not uh, my favourite uh, no, breakfast, that agree. one. We said the same at Charles Lindbergh, actually. Uh, but I do feel like the breakfast used to be amazing in Matilda. Matamba, so I don't know if it still is or sure. if, if that's changed because Matamba used to be able to get like all your little breakfast muffins, yeah, you did, a big you? fruit selection, like grapes and everything. And that's good because it means you can get things and take them with you into the park, yeah, can't you? Can. You know, to save a bit of money when you go in the park. But uh, yeah, I think the restaurant itself was very nice. Very nice that's it? also open, of course, for your evening meal. Um, but yeah, I feel like the breakfast could do with a I few more options work, yeah. um, with some other bits in both of the hotels. And I'd say maybe Matambas have probably changed now as well. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, we've not stayed there for a couple of years but uh, probably going to follow the same sort of theme as the I'd others say I'd, so I'd say too. so out of the three hotels here but uh, it's nice to finally stay in this hotel um, I really do like it the rooms are fantastic the scenery is nice it's a shame that we're not getting the full experience with uh, the bar not being open downstairs I mean I knew that the Dragon Bar only opened at I peak times but open. that bar downstairs like the fact they wanted to walk to Matamba isn't great no, and then not. the pool not being advertised to be shut um, for, for the maintenance very clearly um, it's like a yeah it's a shame you can see it but not directly as you book in it should tell you so that's a shame um, that we're not getting the full experience however uh, the room's really nice it's we've got nice. direct park access in the garden outside there's a gate literally straight into the china area of the park in um, away, yeah these hotels good. are the most on-site hotels you'll ever find at any theme park all three of them they've all got their own access into the park as well which is great but uh, talking of the park we're gonna head in of course Let's we'll have a go. day two vlog coming up as well tomorrow from the park um, and then yeah we'll pick up this vlog later on tonight with you all I'll have a little stroll around the gardens and show you it at night because it looks beautiful with all of the lights on here we go then so the sun has gone down here in Cologne and yes look at this Hotel Lingbao at night which I tell you what looks absolutely breathtaking around here in the gardens you got all the lights you got the fire just here how gorgeous is this Charlotte oh, this looks so nice isn't it and the fact you just got the music in the background as well like such a wonderful ambience walking around here and yeah seeing all the lights like this is incredible I love it seeing all the hotel lit up as well wow and yeah they decorate all at the top just there it's amazing yeah our room where we're staying is actually just behind those bushes over there you can see the lights from the room but yeah it's so nice how they've got all the fire effects on here it just really makes it yeah it's lovely around here in the daytime but at night oh incredible and yeah the entrance to the park if you're staying at this hotel literally just over there so yeah really easy straight into the park it's like you can easily nip back like we said earlier on these hotels here when they say they are on site they literally mean they are on site they are built right next to or within if it's Charles Lindbergh the theme park itself which is great to see we'd have probably gone for a drink in the bar tonight but uh, yeah it's closed like we said earlier on unfortunately if you want to uh, yeah have a drink you've got to go around to Matamba which I think for a premium hotel isn't great so that has taken away from it a bit for us this time which is a shame but I'm glad that we've stayed here just to say that we've done it and we got a good deal as well with it being weird week and um, just to come and experience it but yeah it is lovely with all the nice pretty lights just around here this is probably the best view actually 
with the flames just there. And look at that, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, yeah, this is breathtaking out here, isn't it? It's looking pretty special, isn't it? It is, and the hotel's gorgeous. The theme in is yeah, really nice. Really like, good job. Yeah, and what they do at Christmas here at Ling Bao, really is spectacular, fantastic. Great to come and see this again, and also finally stay here after all these years of coming to this park. Well, we might not have much of a view of the park from down here on the ground level, but at night we do get a nice pretty view looking out all the gardens here with all the lovely lighting. And yeah, there's the restaurant where we had breakfast this morning. And you can see all the fire from here as well, which is really nice. And yeah, you can just chill out here in the window, looking out at the awesome view. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's nice to be back in the room after it being so cold outside. Oh, it's freezing out it's there. It's so cold. Oh, and I'll tell you what though, it's been nice to finally stay here at Hotel Lingbao. It's a hotel that's always interested me because the outside, I think, looks amazing and all the theming. Like, don't you agree? It looks amazing outside. It always outside. looks so nice from the outside. But then when I came in before and I walked down the corridors and stuff, I found it quite dark and dingy. But then I looked online at the rooms and thought, you know what? They look quite bright and roomy and also pretty big, which they are. I think the rooms inside the hotel are fantastic. Fantastic. The rooms are lovely, but I feel like the corridors need work because, like Sean yeah. said, they are quite dark. Yeah, a bit dark and gloomy, aren't they? I, mean, I know it's like a Chinese theme and it's going to be quite red and blacks and browns, but yeah, I just think, you know, the corridors could be a little bit lighter because the rooms look amazing. I really yeah. like the green and blue in here. I'd say the biggest rooms on site um, out of the three hotels, uh, definitely compared to Charles Lindbergh, anyway. Yeah, um, but uh, yeah, I'd say Matamba's rooms are a little bit smaller than these. So if you want a bit more space, I'd say this is the hotel for you. Uh, I thought the restaurant area was really nice as well all the decor in there uh the breakfast was, was just okay wasn't it, it pretty was average okay. it wasn't too bad, uh, obviously they do a full evening dinner in there they do room service as well if you want that obviously we've been eating on the park but if you come in at other times of the year when the park shuts at six which it does a lot of the year then you might want to enjoy the restaurant for evening meal uh, it's been a bit of a shame that some of the things have been closed um especially the pool like it wasn't clearly advertised at all when i booked it that was, when you go on the website and you look a bit further in it says that the indoor pool's closed it doesn't mention the outdoor pool. Yeah, so it's a shame about that, shame. really, because uh, I was expecting that. I brought me swimming trunks and everything. You were going to get ready to jump yeah, in. Yeah, I was. I was looking forward to that. And, of course, with how lovely that garden is, with all the nice lights, I was hoping to have a bit of a swim I around in that. I could have watched you from here. Yeah, it would have been nice, but I could have jumped out the window and been straight <laughs> in the pool. Um, but, yeah, it's a shame about that. And also, I think the fact we're in a premium hotel, yet there isn't actually one bar open out of the two I think that's shocking, yeah that isn't honest. great at all and you know these aren't cheap hotels to stay at i know matamba's only a short five minute walk around the it's corner the point, but they're not connected you know it's not like alton towers hotel and splash landings where there's like a walkway um you know you do have to walk outside it's very cold we'd have just gone for a nice drink down in the bar tonight as we and came shut. back through there's quite a few people in the in the bar to be honest wanting yeah a drink. they were just sat there and obviously couldn't get a drink because uh, the bar wasn't open so yeah not i don't good. think that's great it just put me off a little bit um but you know what it's been nice to stay here and see what it's like and of course so we've got our day two vlog coming up from Fantasyland that'll be coming online tomorrow here on the channel we've got quite a few of the rides that we're going to be covering uh, and also the Tempo de Frego fire show uh, will be coming up and so much more exactly yeah it's going to be uh, fantastic so make sure you come and join us um, for that in our day two vlog that'll be coming up tomorrow here on Theme Park Worldwide uh, well there we go we finally stayed at Ling Bao because they've stayed, stayed at all off. three now all three hotels here at Fantasyland Land. I think it'd be quite a while now before we come and stay on site here so again. Um, especially with, you know, some of the experiences this time. I think we'll give it a good few years before we stop on site. Um, it's been nice doing it. I'm glad I've ticked all three off and I'm sure we'll be back at Charles Lindbergh at some point in the future. <laughs> that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you all in tomorrow's vlog.